ways of the rest of the division. We'll find out right now. Week number one, we do have the Colts beating the Texans. Week number two. Houston, Texas traveled to Denver to take on the Broncos. Give me the Broncos in this one. It is tough to play at mile high. Especially coming from sea level to, to mile high. It takes a couple days to get acc- to, acc- to acclimate. And I don't think the Houston Texans franchise is smart enough to do that. Give me the uh, Broncos. Week number three. Davis Mills travels to Combs Stadium. Soldier Field in Chicago to take on the Bears. Justin Fields versus Davis Mills. Arguably the best two quarterbacks out of that draft. Wasn't Davis Mills in that draft? I'm pretty sure he was. Let's just go with it. It is what it is. Let's roll with it. Chicago Bears are not going to be very good. Justin Fields isn't the answer. Um, Everflus, isn't that his name? Everflus is not the answer as a coach. Uh, Poole, the black GM that they got from the Chiefs, isn't the answer. But they do beat the Houston Texans. Bears win week three. Week number four, the Chargers come into Houston. Chargers are just too freaking good. Week five, we had the Jaguars beating the Houston Texans. Week six, bye week. Way too early bye week for this young team. Way too early bye week for this young quarterback. Way too early. But coming off a bye week, they do travel to Vegas to take on the Raiders that are also coming off of a bye week. Give me the Raiders in this one. Week number eight. Titans taking on the Houston Texans. Texans flex on the Titans, baby. They flex on them. Ain't no shame in my game. Give it to me, baby. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. Week nine. Fly, Eagle, fly. Comes into hashtag, we are Texans. Eagles win. Jalen Hurts is, he's going to do okay. Uh, Rager and the rest of the wide receiver core is going to be pretty good this season. Houston, Texas defense cannot handle a good passing game. That's why they lose this game. Week number 10, they travel to New York to MetLife Stadium to take on the Jaquan Barkley and the Giants. Danny Dimes coming off the bye week. Give me the Giants. Danny Dimes is going to be a man on the mission this year. Danny Dimes is playing for his future in New York this season. Jaquan Barkley is playing for his future in New York this season. They're going to have to show out early and show out often. Give me, give me the Giants in this one 100%. Week 11, the Commanders coming to town. Are the Commanders probably the best of the worst teams out there? Let's flash back to last season when they had uh, Fitz Magic as slated to be their starting quarterback. He played for like four, four or five plays and he lost his, lost his leg. Torrey Anderson, many people had them going 13 and four last season. They got better with Carson Wentz, they got better in the draft. Scary Terry's getting better. Give me the commanders in this week 11 matchup. Week 12. Getting to our gnarly part of the season. This is this is going to get rough. Travel to Miami to take all the Dolphins coming off of a bye week. As I've been on record many, many times, saying that the Dolphins are not going to be as good as people think they were going to be. No Super Bowl, no, no playoffs. Home team coming off a of bye week. Come on. You guys know the routine. Give me, give me the Dolphins. Week 13. Cleveland Browns coming to town to take on Houston Texans. Deshaun Watson, Baker Mayfield, Jacoby Brissett. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. They're not even going to have any of those quarterbacks come this time. Jimmy G's going to be leading the be leading the way for the Cleveland, Cleveland Browns week, week 13. Give me the Houston Texans in this game. Cleveland's going to be struggling. They're going to be trying to pass the ball over the field when they're a running team. They're built to run. They're going to try to be passing the ball with Jacoby Brissett. It's going to be bad. Week 14, Battle of Texas. Travel up that interstate from Houston to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Give me the Cowboys. Sorry. America's team still owns Texas. It doesn't matter. Week 15, my Kansas City Chiefs come into town. There's always those games when good superior teams forget to show the F up. Kansas City Chiefs forget to show the F up in this game. is going to hurt them in this season. Kansas City Chiefs have a shit schedule. It is terribly hard. They have to win these easy games, and they don't. They don't beat the Texans. It hurts. I'm wearing a Kansas City Chiefs hat right now. I got my Super Bowl MVP trophy right there. 
Chiefs lose week five to the Texans. Week 16, we do have the Titans beating the Texans. Week 17, we had the Texans beating the Jaguars. Game was an 18-week 18, 18 matchup. Houston Texans taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Texans right now are sitting at a whopping, where are they at? Where are they at? Four and 12. <laughs> Four and 12. Last in last the, last end, end the division. The Colts win this game. Finishing the record four and third, 13. They, but this is going to be a solid four and 13. Now, just because you have a four and 13 record, people say, oh, you suck. Yada, yada. Look beyond the stats. Look beyond the win loss record. Look how solid this team is going to play this season. I think they're going to be close in every game. It is going to be a one possession game, 10 out of the 18 games, or 17 games. I'm, I'm sorry. If the ball bounces one way or the other earlier in the season, they get some more momentum. These four wins could easily turn into eight, to turn into nine. It could possibly turn into 10 wins this season. But unfortunately, you have to know how to lose before you know how to win. Does that make sense? You have to get your ass whooped over and over and over to get that chip, to develop personality, to learn how to win, to want to win. And the Houston Texans, they are building it. The franchise sucks, but the team is building it. The coaching staff is building it. They'll be okay. So Houston, Texas, don't bow your head at this 4-13 record. It's, it's going to be a very good 4-13 record. There's going to be a lot of one-possession games. Like, like I said, probably 10 one-possession games. And if ball bounces one way or the other, you'll, you will be. 